Kitchen, I'm Julia. So today it's time for another Halloween recipe and today I'm going to show you how to make some ghost sugar cookies. So let's get started. So for my cookie dough I am going to use some sugar, one lightly whisked egg, flour, some butter that I've just cut into some smaller cubes, some little extract, you can also just use seasoned vanilla pot and then I'm going to use some Amodeon carbonate. I'm not really sure if I am pronouncing it correctly, but I'll just write it down below in my description together with all of my other ingredients. So first up, I'm just going to mix my flour and ammonium carbonate together. Just give it a quick stir. Like that, and now I'm just going to add in my butter while my machine is stirring. And now just in my sugar and give it a quick stir. And then in my vanilla extract. And my lightly whisked egg. And I'm just going to stir this around until I have a cookie dough. And then I'm going to wrap it up into some foil and place in the fridge. You can easily just place it in there for a few hours, but I'm choosing to place it in there overnight because I have to do a lot of stuff today. So yeah, I am going to see you tomorrow when I am rolling my dough out. But you can easily just have it in there for at least two hours, so two to four hours, and then they are ready to be rolled out. Now the next day after I have made my cookie dough and I just took a little portion of it, just kneaded a tiny bit and then I have just rolled it out here. And if you think your dough is a bit too hard out of the fridge, um, just knead it well until it gets a bit more soft. Just like I have done here and I just took a little portion of it and I have one small ghost cookie cutter here. Um, I thought it was a bit bigger when I bought it online, but well, we are going to make some small ghost cookies. And what I'm going to do now is just to cut them in my dough here. So just down in the dough and press like that. And then we have a fine little ghost. And I just have a baking sheet ready over here with some baking paper on and I'm just going to add them on there. So I'll just keep making ghosts. So I'll just keep repeating this process with making all of my cookies and then take another lump of dough, knead that, add some flour, roll it out, make some more cookies. Just keep going until all of my cookie dough is used. And after that, I will be too. prepared two sheets of cookies. There's already made 60 mini ghosts and I have a lot of dough left. There will be at least two 
100 mini ghost cookies and now I'm just going to turn on my oven to 175 degrees C convention oven and when that is ready I'm going to place my two sheets of cookies into the oven for about five minutes or until lightly golden brown and after that I'm going to prepare a table with some baking paper on and just take all of the cookies out there and place on the table to cool and I'll just keep repeating this process until all of my cookie dough is used. and make them look a lot more like girls than just the cookie itself and for that I'm going to make a royal icing and I am just going to use some pasteurized egg white and some icing sugar for this royal icing and I am just going to add my egg white in here and then in with some icing sugar and I'm just going to keep adding in icing sugar until the, I have the consistency that I want and I'm just making a small portion of royal icing today um, because I'm not going to decorate all of my cookies if you want to decorate all of the cookies you have to make a much bigger portion of royal icing And I think the consistency is there now, it looks great. And I've just prepared a popping bag with a tip out here with just a little hole. And I'm just going to place my royal icing in there and then I will be too. So I have my royal icing ready here and I have like no equipment for this. So when I want to kind of make it a bit more even, I am just using a regular toothpick. But I am just going to ice some of my cookies now. And they are of course completely cool. So now that my white royal icing is on my cookies and it is now dried up, I am going to use some of my leftover royal icing to add in a little bit of black food coloring to make the eyes and the mouth on my ghost. And I am just going to add a few drops in here and mix that around. And I'm just going to keep mixing until it's all well combined. So now that my black royal icing is done, I am just going to paint some eyes and mouth on my cookie ghost. And when that is all dried up, they are ready to be served. You can also easily keep them in a cookie jar for about a week or so.
hope you enjoyed the recipe for my ghost cookies. And if you want to give them a go, just go down in my description and you will find all the ingredients down there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. And I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!